I'm very excited because today we finally get to roll out with Soviet and Chinese submarines here in cold waters. A recent update has made it playable for both Soviet and uh, Chinese navies, and it should be a good time as we're going to take on the U.S. and have ourselves a good time. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Cold Waters, a game that we've been trying again and again with many different unique and very enjoyable scenarios. This one is uh, one I think you're going to really enjoy. So if you love Cold Waters, if you want to see more of this content, go ahead and vote by hitting that like button on the channel. Let me know you want to see more and, of course, uh, show your support for it. Strategy games, Cold War, and uh, even uh, naval action games such as this one are very enjoyable. A game that uh, yeah, still <laughs> I am uh, rustier than a, a Soviet submarine at, but still an enjoyable time. We're going to get into uh, single missions here and take a look at all the different missions we have to offer in the uh, game here. Up to 17 different missions, the ability to go on a quick mission, which means you can make your own mission, your own editor, and then, of course, the campaign for the United States, which takes place in 1968, 1984, and then 2000 against the Chinese. We're going to take command of a, uh, as I mentioned, a Chinese submarine here today. On the 24th of December 2000, the U.S. convoy is en route to Taiwan to deliver military supplies and equipment. Your orders are to prevent the transports from reaching their destination. Primary objective is to sink enemy transports. Secondary objective is to sink the escorts. So we're going to try to blow everything up here. As you can see, the uh, Chinese are going to try to attack uh, American ships that are escorting these supply ships then to Taiwan in this fictional scenario. We're going to go ahead and get started. There's many different uh, missions for the U.S., the Soviets, and the Chinese. So if you've always wanted to uh, see what it's like to be on the side of the Reds, there you go. Let's get started then. We're now in command of our Long March 1 401, and of course uh, we're under uh, the command of uh, Commander Thomas Chesterton, a very, uh, very uh, traditional Chinese name. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started and take command of our uh, new submarine. Looks pretty nice there. You can tell it very much looks like a uh, Soviet era class submarine. Captain, we have a new sonar contact, 302, designate 01, our depth 184 feet, heading 25. Speed five knots. No over. Uh, there is an overcast, gentle breeze. No surface duct. Uh, very weak thermal layer. Uh, Ninety-two feet. Orders are to well. First of all, let's get a status report. We have ourselves some Chinese torpedoes, the U-5, and then the ASM anti-ship missile C-801. Very nice. So we can fire up to six torpedoes. We have the ability, um, I think, to fire with the additional four plus four ASM. So we're heavily armed. That is very nice. You can see the de yeah the design of the submarine here with the reactor room, bow sonar tubes, all that kind of stuff. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's close to 20,000 KYD, all hands, man battle stations. There's going to be a lot of calling off of uh, targets. So let's Three, listen to this. Zero, two, designated Sierra one. Ooh, a nice submarine indeed. Look at that. Con sonar Ooh, it's a nice night. Three, five, zero, designated Sierra two. All right, let's take a look at what we've got. Our new contact bearing three three zero designated Sierra three. Okay, we're gonna try to identify Con what these ships are. New contact bearing three one six designated Sierra four. So it is more than likely that the. Con uh, our new contact bearing three two two oh. designated Sierra five. So it's more than likely that there's a huge Con number of uh, merchant ships. Two, eight. Five designated Sierra six and a lesser number of uh, enemy warships. So they're probably escorting a convoy of five plus uh, transport ships. Oh, here we go. We may have ourselves the Bell Knapp right here, which actually has a U.S. helicopter on it. You can see in the back there that they do have helicopter capabilities. Con sonar Sierra one is classified as escort. And here's a merchant ship here. Con sonar Sierra five is classified as merchant. We're going to have to take out that bell knap right away. That's a U.S. Uh, warship there. It looked like a CG. Um, and then the others are probably... I believe the others are uh, classified FF. So we'll see what we got here. Another merchant ship. Con sonar, Sierra 4. Look at all these contacts. Merchant. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what else we can find. So as I mentioned, I'm not the best player at this game. And uh, for those of you who might be wondering, oh, I really want to play a game like this, but I hope it doesn't... Uh, take up a lot of my time to learn. This is definitely an easy one to learn and very difficult to master as well. So there's a lot of uh, good scenarios and missions that can uh, keep your uh, hearts content here. This one looks to be a Merchant MS, more than likely. 
Con sonar, Sierra six. Ooh, they're coming towards us. Merchant. I think the enemy contacts are coming right towards us. Fantastic. There's uh, nothing better in this game, too, by the way, than getting a torpedo kill. So it's very exciting. Uh, it's almost like fishing, you know, when you when you get a strike on your line. It's very enjoyable. Okay, looks to be another uh, merchant MS. Con sonar, Sierra three is classified as merchant. And let's see, there's got to be something else here. And that actually, we should rig the ship for ultra quiet as well. Looks like another bell knap. Not great. There's two of them. No. Con sonar, Sierra two is classified as escort. Rig ship for ultra quiet. All right, we want to be super silent now as these uh, enemy ships are approaching. We're going to try to turn into them now. I've identified what most of them are, but there might not be uh, all of the uh, enemy ships yet on our sonar. Um, now, again, we do have the ability to fire those ASMs. It's a nice night, too. Every time you play any of these scenarios or campaigns, everything's kind of randomly generated. There's still a certain number of parameters, like, for example, there'll be an X number of ships, or there'll be a certain type of ship, but where you come into the enemy fleet may change every time. So, for example, you might be in front of them, behind them, left or right, uh, or they may be going north or south, east or west. So it looks like we've definitely got ourselves several warships here. Uh, primarily, we probably want to hit the U.S. warships first, and then the uh, merchants, though they also have the ability to escape. So we need to be careful. Uh, I don't think we've found all the ships here either. I think, uh, well, it's a good number, though. We have four uh, merchant ships and two enemy escorts. Are they going south or north? Looks like this... Okay. So it looks like this one's patrolling from behind. All right, we're going to try to speed up time a bit. Now, they will detect us eventually Con, if they so listen to us long bearing. enough. Three, one, three, designated Sierra, seven. All right, we have a, yet another merchant ship, it appears. Uh, let's go ahead and search... That's more than likely, but that, that's it right there, I think. Con sonar, Sierra 7 is classified as merchant. Looks like we've got accurate uh, depictions of each ship so far. They are matching the uh, signature. Okay, very good. We're going to move in on this first ship then, so get ready to uh, arm torpedoes and do all of that magic. You can hear the ship here, but we can't see it. We haven't yet identified what it is. Of course, we can always go up to periscope depth and uh, try to identify them that way, but of course the enemy may detect us with radar or visual contact, that kind of thing. And the Americans do have access to helicopters, which is my biggest nightmare when it comes to uh, submarining. They have the ability to fire missiles that can drop torpedoes into the water, but I find the helicopters to be much more of a scary thing, for whatever reason. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try to get closer to this ship. We're going to complete our turn. I'm speeding up time now, so we can do this. That's interesting. The merchant ships Con are all sonar. over. Sierra one is classified as escort. Okay, so that is the Con Nox sonar, instead of the Belk now. Three, one, we have ourselves Designate a new contact. Alright. So one of those ships was uh, actual... There, There is what I thought it was. Alright, we gotta go for that bell knap instead. Oh, and that enemy fleet is coming right towards us. Look at that. They're making turn uh, right into us. Let's go back to signature. Let's quickly identify. Alright. So a lot of this is about preparing for your attack. A lot of this is the build-up to uh, preparing to torpedo enemy ships. That could be a could be a Nox there as well. I bet there's two escorts or escorting ships. Oh, and there's another contact down there, Sierra 9. All right, let's go Con ahead and classify sonar. that. Sierra 8 is classified as escort. wonder if that's biological down there. Let's see. Or it could be a trawler, a fishing vessel of some sort. Not enough information yet to identify that one. More than likely a merchant, though. Con sonar, Sierra 9 is classified as merchant. Alright, we're going to have to go for the bell knap up here first. That one's the dan dangerous one with the uh, helicopter on board. Oh, wow, that merchant is way closer than I thought it was. Everything will update as you uh, pick up on your uh, distance and everything like that. All right, we got a long distance to fire on these uh, ships. Now, I don't know what the actual range of the Chinese torpedoes are, but uh, we're probably dealing with a lot shorter range than we would per perhaps want. But the Belknap is our biggest threat, as again, it has the helicopter on the back, so we're about to blow up an enemy ship here. 
So stand by. We're getting ready to fire torpedoes. A lot of setup. Oh, and there she is. Ooh, boy. So you can see the chopper on the back. Sorry that it's nighttime. If it's uh, daytime, of course, you can see things a lot better. But nighttime, of course, is when probably most submarine attacks would begin. Uh, but it really doesn't matter here. Okay, we're, need, we're, we're needing to get a little closer to this enemy uh, ship before we fire our torpedoes. And we are at currently 184 feet. Speed is uh, 5 knots. Of course, 308. Bearing is 345. She's getting ready to pass right in front of us. I'm going to wait till the very last minute. This is a very important uh, ship to destroy here. We can actually get the bearing on a lot of these other enemy ships. I don't even think we have the range to engage these. Oh, look at that. So our range is about uh, 18 KYD. All right. Take note of that. Okay, we can try to fire all of our torpedoes at once. Just, I wish Sierra 4 could be uh, properly identified here. Or uh, have their course on there. We need to get a bit closer. But if we do, it's going to be probably too late. Meaning that enemy ship's going to find us. Con sonar, new contact. Another bearing. one. Two, one, six. Designated Sierra, one, zero. Contact is faded. All right, get ready to engage. Okay. She's turning. Let's go a little short. Okay, shoot tube one. Shoot tube one. Aye, sir. Okay, torpedo's heading towards the U.S. warship. I'll have to pursue these enemy ships here shortly. There goes the torpedo. They've definitely detected it already. She makes a lot of noise. There goes the uh, torpedo now. Wow, that's a really cool looking torpedo. Very uh, Soviet-esque type of torpedo on there. Okay, we're going to go into a search pattern. They may possibly uh, drop noisemakers very soon. That will distract our torpedo and uh, may possibly uh, lead to destroy, but we'll see. She's going to go up to the surface. There she goes. She's tracking. She'll acquire a target here. There's the noisemaker. Okay, she's going to acquire here shortly. Enemy ship is turning away. Noisemaker should distract the uh, torpedo uh, for s a little. Weapon countermeasure homing. Yep, little little bit of time there on that one. She's just they've distracted the torpedo. Sonar lost contact. Sierra nine last bearing one five eight contact is in the baffles. All right, another noisemaker from the American ship. Search pattern reestablished here. Try to go around these noisemakers. As you can see, I'm trying to steer the torpedo. Weapon is acquired. Enemy ship is uh, no longer popping up, but. Oh, there, never mind. Well, she's going to be popping here in a second. Here we go. There goes that helicopter. All right, our first enemy ship destroyed. Not too bad. But we do need to be concerned about those other uh, those other ships now. That's our biggest threat out of our out of the way. That's fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and uh, find out where these other ships are. The whole fleet is moving away from us, <laughs> as you can see. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pick up speed. Make turns for. One, zero, knots. Maneuvering eye. All right, enemy ships are moving away. The Knox is coming in now. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, one, zero. Last bearing, two, one, six. Contact faded. Well, right, let's speed up time a bit. So the Knox is now coming in to uh, try to strike us. 
Recon sonar regained contact on Sierra 9, bearing 1, 5, 3. All right, we're getting ready to engage the U.S. warship. The Knox now coming Con towards sonar us. Lost contact. Sierra nine. Last bearing one. Five, Enemy chopper. Zero. Damn. Contact faded. They do have helicopters. I can hear them. All right. Shoot tube two. That ship's going to turn away from us, so it's best to activate early. All right. Shoot tube two. Shoot tube two. Aye, sir. All right. There she goes. Enemy chopper is up there somewhere. Damn, did the... Really was trying to avoid uh, helicopters today. Alright, there's the Knox. Oh, do they have helicopters too? Or is this another bell knap? Hold on a second. I guess there's a... Wait, what? They must have a helicopter on board as well. All right, let's continue. Now, essentially, we need to uh, attack those merchant ships as soon as possible. But we need to get these warships out of the way as they continue to uh, break away from us. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing two, three, one. Enemy. Uh, Torpedo has been dropped. That's okay. There's no worry about that. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, there we weapon go. acquired. Alright, torpedo. That's an enemy torpedo. There's ours. There's the enemy ship. Oh, and it does have a helicopter on board. I can't believe that. Con, so Contact is breaking up. Fantastic. Alright, two hits for us. And we should probably get steer clear of those torpedoes. Okay. Let's uh, make depth. Actually, we can do this this way. Uh, make depth 200. And now let's make it Let's make it 400. Make depth four, zero, zero, eight, die, bye. And then let's continue at... Uh, we're going to have to pick up the speed a bit. Merchant ships are trying to escape. We don't want that to happen. All right, let's pick up speed. Enemy torpedoes are no longer a threat. Okay, never mind. I was just kidding. <laughs> now they've got one of those missile torpedoes incoming, as you can see there. All right, let's continue to pick up speed. 25 knots. That's something exploding back there. And there's the enemy torpedo. Now, they don't know our depth, but they'll definitely find us now. That torpedo we're going to have to now evade. Con sonar lost contact. See con sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing one, six, seven. All right, stand by. Stand by. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, four. Stand by. Bearing, Just two, stand by. Seven, it's almost eight. here. Contact faded. Con sonar lost contact. Noise maker. Sierra, three. Last bearing. Two. Passing. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Oh, that's not good. Make turns for one, five. Make con sonar. No longer cavitating. There we go. All right, not good to cavitate like that, but uh, the water surface is probably not going to let us get too uh, shallow. Try to go into the enemy torpedo. Make turns for two. Con sonar. We are cavitating. I will not cavitate once we hit 400. Pass. Con sonar. No longer cavitating. All right, we definitely Make need the speed. If we're going to accomplish two, this mission, we have to keep up with nine. enemy ships. Maneuvering eye. Torpedo should reacquire. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing two. Seven, five, contact faded. 
Comms there she is. Lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing two eight two. Contact faded. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra five. Last bearing two five nine. Passing five hundred feet. All right, we need to get speed away from this torpedo. Okay, uh, let's see. A little messy on our evasion, but we've got two enemy ships sunk. And now we have some merchant ships to track down. The Nox is over this direction, so we're going to go find that. Zooming and booming right over the top, huh? Just got to duck a little bit here. That torpedo should self-destruct. There it is. Anytime soon, and there she was. This other torpedo might not be able to uh, catch up with us if it's in the circular search pattern. And it seems like... Oh, it's going for the noisemaker. Interesting. Okay, well, we've evaded the uh, enemy uh, torpedoes and the enemy uh, ships there. Now we're trying to find our own... Uh, trying to find the enemy ships now. Passing 600 feet. We're going to level off somewhere just below uh, just under 500. Another missile from the Americans. Two enemy ships destroyed so far. And a torpedo dropping in front of us. That seems to be more of a on target search pattern. Let's go ahead and dip to the starboard side. And we'll go over here. There we are. Contact on Sierra eight bearing three four nine. Well, hello, beautiful. All right, we're gonna have to come to almost a near stop. Make turns for zero knots. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering on. All right, we're slowing down to get ready to fire our torpedo. Knox is somewhere nearby. Sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing two. All right, Sierra 3 is nearby. Good. Merchant ships are probably coming back under the uh, protection net of the, the Nox. This mission is going to take some time. All right, let's slow her down, boys. Where are they at? Oh, they're all coming back. Excellent. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Okay, so we're going to try to find the uh, enemy ship here. But it's going to be a short one. They're right in front of us. Make turns for five knots. Let's Maneuvering just fire eye. and get out of here. Shoot, shoot, fire control. Oh. Weapon acquired. She immediately acquired. Wow, what is this? A missile? Look at this thing. Oh, hello. Wow, we're going right underneath. Right, we're going to circle around. American ships all have um, helicopters on board. I find that to be really amazing. Look at that. You can see it parked right there. Wow. You can see all the ships below the uh, surface. Look at that. Alright, proceed to, uh, let's see, periscope depth. Let's find ourselves some uh, enemy ships. Okay, let's go ahead and load ASMs. We're going to see if we can fire at the uh, furthest ones first for the most amount of entertainment value.
Too bad it's nighttime, you'd be able to see more. But all right, three enemy ships destroyed. We didn't take any torpedo hits. I capitated a few times. Not a problem. Enemy warships are out of the way. Hopefully this one doesn't crush me. We gotta get out of here. She's coming down. Oh boy. Beautiful fire there. Very satisfying to uh, destroy any sort of ship in this game. Again, as I mentioned, it's like fishing. So it's always a good time. Right, let's, uh, oh yeah, we're five knots. Good. Okay, we're coming up now. Ballast and... Uh, Explosions on that ship. Oh yeah, she's oh. Con, torpedo room, two point ready. All right. Oh, look at that U.S. ship there. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to engage additional ships. Let's go ahead and get ready to surface. What the hell? Con, torpedo room, two two ready. Another torpedo going out on us. Oh, we're, at, we're at four or five feet. Go ahead and uh, get that uh, periscope up. Actually, let's get uh, ESM mast up. The ESM mast. Nothing? Raise the radar mast. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Hmm. Up scope. There we go. Ah. All right. Well, we got a uh, ship over. Meow. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra Eight, bearing one, two, three. Go ahead and engage nighttime. Okay, that's about all we can see. Down to go. I'm not too concerned as it's uh, basically uh, nighttime with only enemy merchants against us. But let's go ahead and get ready to engage with the torpedo. Looks like it's a little too far for us, huh? Oh, well, that's my bad. All right, looks like we got ourselves an enemy merchant. Let's go ahead and engage with ASMs. My bad on that on that friendly torpedo, lol. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, fire two at the merchant. Get ready to acquire and fire. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. I think these take two, but let's see. So there goes our uh, anti uh, anti ship missile. Now you can barely see it, but she is flying. I wonder if they do, do they not make a uh, plume of fire or anything behind them or smoke? I guess it's just graphically eliminating or uh, limiting. Okay, so now we've got our uh, anti-ship missile coming in Con to get that one that's a little far. Contact on Master 6, bearing zero, five, eight. All right, we're going to keep an eye on the other remaining ships here. Oh, that's going to be bad. I would fire two. Normally, it would take two to take these down. Here she comes. Right here's the missile. Okay, a direct hit, but no kill. Let's hit him again. Aye, sir. Ah, she's dead in the water from that, or at least, of course, slowed. Make turns for one. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Oh, really? At five? Wow, with no surface. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Wow, we got to go like at a crawl. We definitely got to be below the surface for this one. Merchant ships are getting away, so let's go ahead and chase them. Let's make depth. Uh, Let's go 400 and proceed at 2.5 as soon as we can. Alright, here comes our missile again. I like our random torpedo out there. We probably won't need it. Well, it takes a long time to get to this ship, doesn't it? 
You can see how much distance we have to cover in order to even get close to that enemy ship. Um. Oh. Two enemy ships have been hit. button at the wrong time there. Passing. All right, let's try not to cavitate. One con sonar, no longer cavitating. There we go. All right, so let's see. We've got uh, boy, a lot of ships out there, don't we? We're pretty much free range to destroy everything. Passing 400 feet. There we go. Make turns Ooh, for enemy two, chopper. Five knots. Well, that doesn't make sense. An enemy chopper can be up even though their ship's destroyed. That's how they heard us, is the cavitating we did, so the chopper came right over. It was really weird, by the way. I, I didn't think they could engage us with uh, without ships supporting the helicopter, but that's all right. Con maneuvering, making turns for two, five knots. All right, torpedo should be coming soon. Gonna take some time to find all these enemy ships. Okay, they're they're listening to us now. Somewhere. Pretty cool looking submarine. It seems to combine uh, both room, two, Soviet ready. and American uh, types of technologies, it seems. Really happy that we destroyed so many uh, enemy ships right off the start, especially the warships. These ships are also unlikely to escape from us now that we've got a pretty good... Uh, <laughs> They have no warships anymore. Right, let's make depth uh, 350. Or no, let's go up 200. Make, make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. There we go. Con sonar, we are cavitating. All right. Con sonar lost contact. Ooh. Master three, last bearing two, seven, one. Contact breaking up. Wonderful. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing two six two. Contact faded. All right, so I think we hit Master Seven and Master Three with uh, ASMs. Let's go ahead and fire some more just for fun. That's what this is all about. This is a video game that is supposed to mostly simulate fun, and it's a really good time. I really appreciate the effort they put in to try to make it as realistic as possible, but. For newbies or people who are rusty like me, in both cases, it is a ton of fun. Where those missiles go out. I think it's so cool how we can actually fire ASMs. That's the coolest thing ever. Alright, both missiles are going out again. I'm just basically randomly scanning for it. It's so cool how we can actually fire a missile like a torpedo, and then it pops out of the water and becomes an anti-ship missile. That's incredible to me. All right, let's see what what targets we can hit. Let's speed up time. Con sonar oh. lost contact. Master seven, last bearing three, one, eight. Contact breaking up. She doesn't look like she's sinking, does she? Con, torpedo room two, three, ready. Oh, there she goes. Or is she just dead in the water? Is this sinking? Oh yeah. 
very slowly. I guess there's a lot more uh, space on one of those ships. So, all right, here comes the enemy torpedo again. Now, obviously, with us firing ASMs, they're going to find us because there's Passing giant plumes of uh, smoke that come up out of the water. Passing 300 feet. Passing 500. Make, Make turns for two, five knots. Trying to get away from that helicopter, wherever it is. Wow, look at all the ships that are destroyed. We're close to them all. I really wanted an excuse to fire those ASMs, too, just to kind of show off what they can do. It's really cool. They're very good at... Um, not very good at breaking through enemy uh, defenses for uh, SeaWiz, close-in weapon systems, but they are good at uh, finding merchant ships like that, though they're very big and difficult to destroy, so it takes a few attempts. All right, let's slow down this time. I've learned my lesson. Make, make, turn. make turn for 10 and go up make to uh, four, five, 100. Maneuvering eye. Maybe 150. Make depth 150 feet, dive eye. Wonderful. So we've destroyed, confirm what, two merchant ships? There seems to be others all over, but they seem to all be trying to scatter. I wonder where we are exactly. Off the coast of Taiwan, of course. Maybe that's Taiwan Seven, there. Dive, Not sure. Depth 150 feet, dive eye. All right, we're listening for the enemy. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing two wow. six zero. Contact breaking up. All right, so we've destroyed three ships, confirmed, and there was at least six. So half the enemy uh, merchant fleet has been destroyed. Enemies escort out of the way. Uh, one, two, three here. One, two, three, four there. So uh, a total of. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Well, in to wow, we've destroyed six ships so far. In total, there was what nine, ten ships. Wow, that's crazy. All right, we're gonna proceed back this direction. See if we can find those merchants. We're gonna uh, duck down and pick up speed. Cavitating is one of the things that I, I need to uh, master as a submariner a bit more about. Uh, e each submarine's a little bit different at what types of speed, the water, uh, the, where exactly do you see it? Conditions, of course. All those types of things, and it's uh, really, really fun to be able to uh, have different conditions every time. Each mission's different. It's really enjoyable. Alright, let's pick up speed, full speed. Make turns for two, five knots, maneuvering eye. And we're going to start listening for enemy ships now. Well, we've done really well. We've evaded all the torpedoes. Uh, there was really one close call so far. We were able to reach out and destroy some of those with ASMs, which was really cool. Just wish it were daytime so you could see the uh, missiles a bit more. So I hope you had that brightness all the way up. I thought we were on the 4... Weren't we on a ship that was the 401? Why is this 405? The propeller's going pretty good. All of our tubes are fully loaded. Ready to rock. We're going to go up towards the surface here in a little bit just to check out and see if enemy ships are around. Some may escape. You can always do better or worse on some missions. Uh, and I notice the developers keep changing the missions around a bit too. Like some of them um, feature, you know, uh, what used to be like an American mission was changed to then be more Soviet. Uh, you know, in terms of like sneaking through enemy um, anti-submarine nets and stuff like that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, okay, we don't even know what Sierra 10 is. That's the only one we weren't able to classify. But at this point, with no one coming after us except for that helicopter, maybe there is one more ship left. All right, let's back off on that speed. Make, make, uh, make turns for five make and up to for five knots. 150, Maneuver please. Nine. Thank you. Let's go up to periscope depth. Make depth four, five, eight, dive, eye. And let's see what we can find. Raise the ES con. Dive at four, five, eight, dive, eye. There we go. 
Now we got nothing. Oh, never mind. We got, we got trouble for the guy. Well, that's kind of rude enemy helicopter. Where's he coming from, anyway? Too bad we don't have a deck gun. Is that a Seahawk? No, oh, it's a... Uh, I'm not sure what that looks like. It's from the 50s. I don't even know what kind of a helicopter that is. Is that a buoy there that they dropped? Wait, is that a sound buoy? Yeah, they actually shouldn't be able to have those unless they drop them from a chopper. That's, or I mean, from a, uh, from a. I've only seen those from aircraft, and usually when they drop those, it makes an indicator on the on the map. Wow, I can't believe they still have a chopper around. Very cool. All right, let's uh, pick up speed then. Make turns for. One, zero, knots, maneuvering eye. Con, dive at three, okay, five, we're just, zero, we're just, dive we're just sneaking away here. Just don't mind me. All right, well, it's going to take some time to pursue and uh, engage the entire uh, enemy fleet like that, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, it definitely takes a lot of patience in order to track everything down and uh, eliminate it. Of course, what you really truly want to do is, uh, at the very start where you saw all those ships together, what you really want to do is find all their headings and stock them for a while and then fire your uh, torpedoes one after the other to engage each ship as it's uh, trying to flee. So you'll basically get a huge mess of ships trying to go every which way in order to try to escape uh, torpedoes and uh, and or just away from the submarine that uh, is engaging them while warships go out to try to find it. I'm going to go ahead and call this mission a complete success then. I don't want to track down every single little uh, merchant ship there is because that's just going to take some time. But uh, anyway, and ah, they're dropping torpedoes. So we're going to go ahead and call this one GG. Let's just say we destroyed everything for purposes of time. But you get the idea here of what the Chinese Navy has to offer. And we'll come back and do the Soviets sometime soon. So let's go ahead and uh, leave combat here. Apparently there's a weapon nearby and an aircraft, but that's okay. We'll just call, call it good. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like we've sunk a Knox, a Belknap, all three of those, plus most of our mission complete. So that's pretty good. So foreign trade, uh, we're going to call that one a GG. I uh, definitely sunk enemy transports and enemy escorts, and we got out of there without dying, so that's good. Uh, additional ones for the Chinese in the year 2000. U.S. attack submarine has been located in the East China Sea. So basically you got a one-on-one -on -one with an American uh, submarine. And then uh, territorial dispute. U.S. Navy forces continue to challenge in the exclusion zone. Weapons free engage U.S. naval vessels in the area without warning. Sh uh, destroy enemy warships. Very cool. And then there's even some Soviet missions, including uh, blowing up convoys. This is kind of similar to the one we just played. Sink enemy transport ships, sink... Um, sink the escorts so pretty typical submarine warfare of sneaking through or destroying enemy warships and then picking off all of the uh, transports so very good very good indeed so in order to keep this one short and sweet i uh, cut that one there and i really like this game a lot so if you want to see more cold waters again remember to go ahead and hit that like button lots of fun we played many of these single missions so if you want to see more check the channel for these as there's a uh, footage of me blowing up aircraft carriers and blowing up other warships and uh, t taking out entire convoys and things like that just like today and finally we get to uh, be in control of uh, the bad guys i guess for lack of a better term uh, you, of course the uh, soviets now you can pilot some of their submarines and the chinese too zia class and uh, what were we in exactly we were in the han class so there you go there's the information on that one if you want to learn more always check out this uh, page to learn more about your weapons and limitations but anyway that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. That was like a super mega extendo episode. Lots of uh, lots of good moves for me, and uh, I got a lot more to learn. And I'm really happy every time is a learning experience. I'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching. You're great, and I'll see you in the future. Bye, everyone.